are back. It's the world famous weather for weather geeks on this Monday evening. Hope you and yours had a, a pretty good weekend. Our uh, weather, as we kicked off a new work week today, left a lot to be desired. That is for sure. And it's frankly a pretty grim forecast for the next couple of days before we start to see some big improvements by the end of the week and into the upcoming weekend as well. Uh, the radar as of this recording at about 7.16 has been pretty quiet for the last couple of hours, but a few more showers are going to try to rotate in over the next several hours. It's been interesting watching the radar up over Lake Erie this evening, as there has been occasional bolts of lightning and some water spouts sighted on Lake Erie. Very, very unstable atmosphere, lots of cold air aloft. Baseball fans interested in the weather over in New York City. Uh, game 5 of the ALDS, the Guardians and the Yankees, as of this recording, in a delay because of this band of rain pushing through. We'll see if this, this gets through in time for them to have the game this evening or if it'll be delayed until tomorrow. So we'll see how that uh, transpires as we go through the evening. The reason for our uh, kind of uh, calamitous weather is uh, this area of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Upper level low, cut off from the main jet stream. Nowhere, uh, it's going nowhere in a hurry. And as a result, we've got a pretty similar forecast coming up for tomorrow and for Wednesday. Down here at the surface of the Earth, where we are, it's cold enough. It's in the upper 30s, lower 40s. Upstairs, about 5,000 feet, not that far above our heads. It's well below freezing. And so out of some of these cloud bases, snowflakes are falling. Now, we haven't seen a lot of true snowflakes reach the ground just yet. We've seen occasional bits of grapple or soft hail, and basically... Grapple is a little bit of a different story or a different uh, setup uh, than traditional hail that you sometimes see in the summertime in a severe thunderstorm. Basically, grapple happens when snowflakes fall and encounter some what we call supercooled water droplets. Water droplets that can stay in a liquid form even though the temperature is below 32. It has to do with the air pressure and, and how that's physically possible. We won't get too deep into that. But anyway, the snowflakes start adhering to some of these a super cooled rain droplets, or I should say the rain droplets adhere to the falling snowflakes. And what you get is a little tiny ball of ice, um, kind of a pellet almost. Not a traditional you know, shape like a hailstone per se. Um, these are usually kind of soft. You can kind of crush them if you want. Um, but this is the kind of thing we've seen from time to time today. And we'll probably try to see again tomorrow and into Wednesday with an unstable atmosphere and plenty of cold air aloft. Grapple and even some snowflakes are going to be a possibility for the next couple of days. As of 718, it's in the lower 40s across the board. We'll end up in the mid 30s overnight tonight. And for the first time this season, we've had to break out the wind chill graphic. At the Youngstown Warren Airport, the uh, wind uh, gusts have been over 30 miles per hour occasionally today. That has created wind chills in the mid 30s. It's not particularly nice outside, <laughs> to say the least, this evening. As we go through the next couple of days on our future cast, I left the isobars plotted up. The lines of equal pressure, and that's all these white uh, lines here. When these are packed close together, if you're a if you're a weather nerd, you know that that means it's usually breezy, if not windy. And these isobars are going to kind of stay pretty tightly packed for the next couple of days. Uh, rain showers off and on Tuesday, not an all-day rain. There's going to be some dry intervals, but especially early in the day and late in the day, um, there can be some snowflakes that try to mix in with these raindrops. And again, grapple will be a possibility. Uh, perhaps the best chance of some legitimate snow showers without as many raindrops might be tomorrow night tuesday night and first thing wednesday morning that's when maybe maybe a few spots can uh, get a little small accumulation mostly on elevated surfaces and these chilly blustery rain showers will be around through the daylight hours wednesday with big improvement starting by thursday and taking us into friday and the weekend now this is just the latest run of our in-house model here and I, I do think that it's a little overdone with this particular stripe right here the overall idea is in the highest terrain northeast of uh meadville up closer to the new york border and then down into the laurel highlands and down into the panhandle of maryland eastern west virginia those are the places that have the best chance of seeing some modest accumulations mostly on the grass uh through wednesday around here in our viewing area you know a few spots might try to get some small slushy accumulations mostly on those elevated surfaces deck railings maybe your windshield things like that but for the most part this is a low if if, if not no impact uh and it's just more of a conversational thing uh where people are going to notice for the first time since uh late april that a few snowflakes are in the air but 
like flipping a switch, we're heading into a nice, uh, very nice pattern for the end of the week and the weekend. We'll be back to about average by Friday, and this will be a, a much improved afternoon with lots of sunshine. Temperatures getting close to 60 and a fine evening for football Friday evening. And then over the weekend, above the average by a fair margin. Not only over the weekend, but into Monday as well. And in fact, next week, while it may retreat closer to average by midweek, it still looks a lot better than the pattern that we are in right now and will be in through Wednesday. All right, in uh, the future editions of Weather for Weather Geeks this week, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the winter forecast. We didn't do that this evening, but I'll have some more to say. If you've been watching Weather Geeks lately, you know I've been uh, kind of talking about different aspects of the winter forecast and what we're kind of looking at. We'll get back into that this week. We'll talk about the uh, shorter and kind of medium range pattern for the very end of October and the start of November. Uh, I'm, I kind of like some of the model trends I'm seeing. If you're not ready for, for sustained cold, uh, you may like the looks of some of the medium range modeling. So we'll talk about that later this week on Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks for watching on this Monday night and have a great rest of your evening.